evacuation. Titan alert. Get out of the building now. This is not a drill. I think one of the most exciting things about doing a Godzilla movie is being able to take a different approach to Godzilla in the same way that the original films did. The legendary approach has always been sort of that Godzilla is a good guy. You know, he's misunderstood, but he's a good guy. He sort of is this benevolent protector of the Earth. And we're kind of flipping the world around and saying now a world where Godzilla has seemingly turned his back on humanity and is acting recklessly. The massive titan, once thought to be a hero to humanity, made landfall in Pensacola, Florida. This film starts after three years since the last encounter with the titans. And Godzilla is on the rampage again. Why, we don't know. There's a reoccurring motif in this movie of Godzilla sort of being equatable to Jaws. So even at the beginning of the film, you know, we wanted to treat it more like Jaws approaching the shores. My absolute favorite thing that I was always looking forward to in the movies was Godzilla using his breath. I just thought that was the coolest thing every time you got to see it. And so I ended up pushing that a lot in this movie. I believe Godzilla's most recent attacks haven't just been random. I'm of the same opinion. Brian Terry Henry plays a really fun character in the film named Bernie Hayes, who's a uh, bit of a conspiracy theorist. For five years, I embedded myself inside this company trying to figure out what their game was, and then boom, Godzilla shows up. He's a champion for mankind, you know, there's something, his heart is so big. Bernie is kind of this crazy, he, that's about it, he's just crazy. All right, Matt, have down a rabbit hole. The trio of uh, Madison, Josh, and Bernie, they're all very distinct personalities, but there's a dynamic between them and a rapport that's been great to watch. They're an amazing team. They work really well together. They complement each other so well. You know, you have the realist, which is Josh. I mean, he's very practical, logical. You need one of those in your group, otherwise you're going to die. Are you sure we can trust this guy? Yeah, why? Well, mainly because he says crazy shit all the time and carries a bottle of whiskey from his dead wife like a gun. And then you have the full go-getter. I am the go-getter. I will throw myself into, you know, if they're scared to go in first, I'll go. I think it's romantic. And Bernie is the knowledge of the group. You know, he really holds a lot of information. He's a conspiracy theorist, so he is extremely intelligent. I would just like to know what it was like to work with the Godzilla. Is that what we're filming? Because mm -hmm. you told me that this was a rom-com. It's not a rom-com. I never said that. That's what she said. All three of those actors are just hilarious, and they just, they have such great chemistry together, and they're just unbelievably funny. Like, when the camera's rolling, when it's not rolling, <laughs> it's, it's kind of never-ending with those guys. Hey, Ozzy. The two of them have actually brought out the wacky side of me, you know what I mean? Like, because we have fun. The cast has just been unbelievable, behind the scenes and on camera. You going in? Yeah. I can't wait to play this because I'm built from it! This is like the heavyweight champion of the world fight. There's basically two giant monsters fighting. Kong has the strength, but you know, Godzilla can, like, you know, fire stuff out of him. This is the most epic battle of all time. Thank you.